Okay guys, I have here a Core Kronos 61 key, uh, the latest one, the Core Kronos 2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install a new uh, two hard drives, one as the primary hard drive and the other one as a secondary and they're both around 250 gigabytes, better quality um, SSD drives. So pretty much all I'm going to do is I'm going to take off all the screws that you see except for the black, for the where the feet are see those feet those are gonna stay there you're not gonna take nothing off so just the screws that you see all around the keyboard those are gonna be taken off and then we're just gonna pop the the back off the, the pop the cover off of it and then go from there okay so this is inside a core Kronos 2 61 key version and uh, right here is where you see the the SATA cable for the SSD and it's right here is the the hard drive and uh, this already has the cable to plug into a secondary but um, you need another SATA cable so pretty much the other SATA cable is going to connect into there um, so when, as you notice right there it says SATA 1 and then the other one has a uh, uh, it's hard to see but I believe it's SATA 0 so anyways if it's SATA 0 the, the new plug, the new SATA cable is going to connect there and it's going to run all the way across and connect into the original one or the other drive that you put in. So that way um, the, the keyboard recognizes it as the boot drive. So that's pretty much it. And right here you see your memory. That's the RAM memory. It looks like a 4 gig, 4 gig stick. Um, zoom in so it's a uh, 4 gig stick PC 3-12800 S in case you need to get another RAM stick for some reason but anyways it has two slots so you could probably put two gigs on each slot and that's pretty much it that's how it looks inside of Core Kronos okay so I'm gonna remove the hard drive and as you notice there's one bolt there one bolt on on the down here there's uh two on each side so as you can see and we're just going to take that off and then we're going to take the the cables off as soon as we get it out okay so here's the hard drive as you can see it's just a generic type hard drive um it should be a 62 gigabyte model and that's the the, the average uh size on the crow chronos 2 so anyways, this is the hard drive. I'm going to I'm going to replace it with a good better quality Samsung Evo SSD drive. And uh when taking it out, the screws, you might need a a little tweezers to to make sure that the screws don't fall cuz you know, they're so small, they tend to fall down and then so you might need tweezers to to grab them before they fall. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so pretty much what I'm doing is I have the original drive right here and then the, the new Samsung hard drive that I'm going to install on the Kronos on the, on, the, on the other one. Okay, so I installed the new drive in there. It's a Samsung Evo uh, 850. It's a 250 gigabyte. And I also installed another cable because I'm going to install this uh, another 240 gigabyte uh, solid state drive. And... Um, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna flip it over. I want to make sure that it boots up correctly. This this hard drive is the one I just uh, um, copied directly on the PC. So I pretty much just uh, uh, cloned the drive, installed it in here. On this one, on this drive right here, I didn't use the DVD restore disk that came with the drive, um, just because it's faster to do it on on cloning the drive on the computer. So that's what I did on this one. On another video, I had another uh, hard drive that I was uh, reformatting, and it was doing it on the on the Core Chronos on this one. And also, it w it took about an hour to to complete, and I was asking for a public ID. But once I do the clone, it shouldn't ask for no public ID. It should boot up right away with all this original f um, stuff that was on the other hard drive, original hard drive. As you noticed here, I just uh, I put a few screws down in it up where the keyboard area is at. 
that's really all I want to do because I'm just going to turn it around. I'm going to power it up. But I put the screws here because I, I don't want the keyboard um, to be moving around. If you don't put screws there, the, the keyboard section over here starts moving around and I don't want it to be uh, moving out of place or anything. So that's all I'm going to do. Just put a few screws there just to be able to um, turn it over and turn it on. Okay, so I got a system startup failed on my core Kronos. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the, I got a DVD here with the first DVD that came with the Kronos uh, for restore. Um, so pretty much when you turn the, the Kronos on, um, that message comes on. So I'm going to see if I can just reformat the drive using the DVD and it should give me some options. Okay, so now I turned the keyboard off and I installed that first DVD and that uh, installer version 3.0.4 and it says the disk is not formatted so I'm going to push enter and I'm going to try to see if I can reformat it and get everything on there the way it was originally so right now it says uh, partitioning the disk Okay, so right here, when it, after it said partitioning the hard drive, and then it said reformatting, um, it, it says installing system files. So at this point, it's, I believe, installing the files on the hard drive, and then uh, we'll see what it does from there. Okay, so now it said uh, installing sound files. So it looks like it's working. It looks like it's reformatting and putting everything to on the hard drive as its original state from like the way it came from the factory now it says installing PCM bank 621 okay so it's still it's still loading it's still on that same PCM bank 621 it's it's taken a while but um these are the, the three DVDs that it came with the Chrono, so I'm not sure how many of the DVDs I have to install. I'm not sure if it's just the first two or the first one, but we'll find out. Um, so right now it's just installing everything back onto the hard drive. And let's hope that it works, because it looks like it's like it's stuck there, but it could be that just a long process. Okay, so right here, it got to the point where it's asking me to insert the second DVD and press enter. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the second DVD that it came with and I'm going to ins uh, insert it in the DVD player and then go from there. Okay, that says DVD numero dos, number two DVD. Okay, so then uh, it says the press enter. Okay, so I just pressed enter and now it took me to where it's installing the rest of the banks. Um, so I don't know how long it's going to take. So far it's taken a little bit over 30 minutes. So um, if you're going to do reformatting the whole hard drive again and all that. So expect to take up to 45 minutes for it to complete the whole process. It does take a long time. Um, so anyways, that's part of the process if you want to fix your chronos or, or change out the hard drive okay I got DVD number three accessory disc three and I'm gonna go ahead and close it and then it's gonna say to press enter and then I'm gonna just gonna press enter okay and it's ready to go okay so right here it got to the point where it says uh, verifying um, initialization or installation so it's just verifying and uh, hopefully it goes on from there okay so it just uh, finished installing and it says installation um, completed please remove in installation media and power down the system okay so I just powered up the keyboard so right here it says please write down the public ID shown below and then go to Korg dot com chronos if you cannot access the internet please contact your local follow the website instructions or reauthorization file and copy it to a USB device 
So that's pretty much it. Right now it's giving me my uh, public ID for this keyboard. Um, so all I have to do is go authorize it online and get the authorization file and then I can install it. And then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to that website they did. I'm gonna I'm gonna pretty much just register my uh, Chord Chronos, um, and then you know the public ID is different for all the keyboards, so it really doesn't matter. Mine won't work for yours, so you're gonna have to write your the your public ID number and register it, and then Korg is gonna send you uh, authorization numbers. So you can authorize the expansions, the piano expansions and all that that came with it. So um, my number is not going to work of course for yours so they're all different. So anyways that's the last step of this. Pretty much and go register it, get the author authorization file. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to use a USB to plug it in and then um, it will authorize it for me. Okay so the system just booted up without me having to authorize anything. So that's kind of weird but anyways I, I didn't have to put in the USB just yet so when I go into my disk um, I go into media right there it's gonna say I got 204 or 227 gigabytes so it's using the new you know the new hard drive that on the on, as the primary and um, the I didn't test the boot speed, but I'm going to test the boot speed. I'm going to time it in a little bit. And um, so there you go. There's uh, 227 gigs out of 250 gigs. Um, I'm going to go to my global options info. And they're authorized already. The expansions are already authorized. And it has the 3 gigs, 3.0.4. So everything's good. Now I'm just going to close up. Um, the unit I might just install the secondary drive in there so uh, we'll see what happens okay so here's my core Kronos 2 this is the 73 key version um, I installed the secondary drive on this one and um, pretty much it's the same as the the core Kronos 261 key a little different because the ports and everything where these are located on the on the 61 it's a lot easier to to get to this one this key bed is in the way of getting to the second port so I had to you know un unbolt these I had to move it back the bar and you have to move the key bed back a little bit so that way you can snap that cable in there and if you notice it's a it's a 90 degree angle cable that has to go there otherwise if you put a straight one in there it's gonna hit the keys and you're gonna hear the noise you're gonna feel it when you're playing you feel it hitting something against the cable but once I put the uh, put it the right way with the 90 degree angle um, it, it worked fine you didn't feel anything else so that's pretty much it so I just installed the secondary drive on this one and uh, on the 61 key I used a, a 250 gigabyte Samsung for the primary drive so um, it looks like it's working good it booted up in about it I guess 10 seconds um, so versus the the original factory one so it booted about 10 seconds faster than the factory one okay so this is it this is all I want to show you just a 73 key version of it and the 61 key version that I just showed you a little while ago